welcome back to my little channel. Now, I know that people are talking often, and um, justly so, about the power that comes from the interwebs. Or rather, the power that certain internet companies seem to revel in. Revel in? Yes, they're really pleased that they have this power. Okay, um, sure, whatever. No, no, this is a big deal. What do I mean? Well, I mean, can you imagine YouTube or Twitter being able to tell you what to say and how to think? It, it sounds rather draconian because it is, but funny enough, it is what they are doing. And surely I have an example. I'll show you this tweet and you will see the Twitter name of the person at Bats Cripple and the name she uses, Jess. I haven't blacked any of it out because I don't disagree with her and I don't feel that I should black her out. I mean, she has a right to say what she has to say. What did she share? Well, um, this. You can revise this. How dare you say something? But I'm giving you the chance to take it all back. Apparently, Jess wrote a reply to a government tweet thingy and in her tweet she said, Dear God, who is the absolute boomer retard running your social media? And obviously Twitter couldn't handle that at all. I'm not quite sure if it's the word boomer or retard, um, or maybe God, who knows, but the combination of these words definitely out of line. And then they basically say, well, why do you believe you receive this message to revise your tweet? And then you can select one. So basically what they're saying is, we say you did something wrong. Now, can you figure out why we say you did something wrong? And these are the four options. Twitter thought my tweet was negative or offensive. The one that Jesse chose. And I can understand that because apparently this is what they thought. Otherwise, why would you want me to revise it? Uh, the second choice, I have a history of posting negative comments, and I have two problems with that one. One, um, define negative comments, and, and, and do we both, this is the second point, or do we both have the same definition of negative comments? But yeah, sure, you can hang yourself by putting that one on, or you can be honest and say Twitter targets people like me, and people like me would then obviously not be people of color or people that are white or blah blah blah. No, no, it would people with the wrong idea would be that group. Because Twitter does target people with the wrong idea. Well, maybe ethnicity has something to do with it because there is plenty of an Arab tweet out there that if you would translate it to, um, to English and replace Jew with black, <laughs> Don't, don't try it out, by the way. It's not going to end well for you. But, I don't know is also an option, but yeah, let's be honest. We bloody well know why Twitter is doing this. Did, you, did your tweet contain language that recipients of it might find offensive? And, and I always have a problem with this, because offense is taken, not given. But yeah, let's assume that someone found it offensive, because let's be honest, Count Ankula got sentenced to having to pay £800, which they then took from him because he never paid it, um, because a judge deemed that someone found his video offensive. Not that they have proven that anyone found it offensive, but it was deemed to be the case. And there you have it. Well, it could be worse. No, you can't. Do you agree or disagree with the following statements about your tweet? And you have to select one for each row. And then you can choose. I was speaking out against hate speech, yes or no. I'm going to say no, because hate speech is a made-up term, and I don't speak up against made-up terms. It's important for me to use the type of language to defend myself to others. But I agree or not agree. No, I don't agree. It's not important for me to use the type of language I do. I choose to do it because I like to use the language. What is this? 
language policing? Well, yes, of course it is, but we don't want to say it. Well, thank you, Twitter, but you are language policing, and I don't agree with you doing that. Is it important for me to use this language? No, but I want to, so fuck it. The language in my tweet is not offensive or disrespectful. Funny enough, with this one, I agree, because disrespect is meant, I might not have meant disrespect, and offense is taken. I didn't give offense, you took it. Therefore, hey, prove to me how my tweet was offensive or disrespectful and I did it willingly. Doesn't mean it can't happen, but in this case I agree with Jess. She didn't answer any of these questions apparently, but hey, there you go. So, two disagrees and an agree. The person I'm replying to would not consider this tweet offensive. Well, I can't speak for anyone else, so I don't know if you find it offensive or not. So I'm going to disagree. Not that I care. And then the last one. Twitter is unfairly targeting me for the type of language that I use, which is, funny enough, also true. Uh, again, just look up any tweet out there uh, in, 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 in Arab talking about the Jews and imagine in your hand not in your hand, in your head, that you will replace the word Jew with the word black, and then wonder whether Twitter would ban you for it. And once you realize that the answer of that is yes, question yourself, why does Twitter allow it to happen in Arab language, but not in English? Because they don't care. I mean, obviously they care enough to tell you that you're wrong, but they don't care about what happens in the Middle East. Not a single thing. And this is the funniest one. Which of the following describes your race and ethnicity? You can select as many as apply. Okay, well, that's funny. Um, when it comes to race, all of them apply. All of them? Yeah, all of them. Because the race of the American Indian is Homo sapiens sapiens. And the race of the Asian is Homo sapiens sapiens. And the race of African or black or African American, again, Homo sapiens sapiens. Hispanics, yep, Homo sapiens sapiens. Native Hawaiians, uh huh, mm -hmm. Homo sapiens sapiens. White European, yep, Homo sapiens sapiens. Middle Eastern, yeah, sure, Homo sapiens sapiens. Other, well, as long as you're human, you're Homo sapiens sapiens. So yeah, there is that. Well, but, but what about the ethnicity? Well, uh, what ethnicity are you? Are you American Indian? I'm sorry, but which American Indian? But uh, are you an Asian? Fair enough, which Asian? You think there's only one ethnicity, Asian? Are you black? or African, or African-American. Again, what ethnicity? Uh, South Africa alone has several ethnicities living within its borders. Hispanic, you, you get the drift. Hawaii, uh, European, Middle Eastern, all different ethnicities. So how the hell can you answer this one? But, if you answer it correctly, which means that you click that you're one of the oppressed people, then suddenly what you say can be accepted. Why am I saying that? Well, again, look at tweets made in Arabic. Or look at how certain BLM folks tweet about killing whitey. They get away with that. There's no such thing as anti-white racism. But as soon as you're white and you say something to one of the minority people, funny enough, white people are the biggest minority on the planet, then it's an issue. Can we please all realize that Twitter isn't about free speech? But just look at, at the whole ethnicity thing. I mean, if you're black, then you get, get away with certain things. Well, only as long as you're woke. Because if you're a black conservative, Twitter may as well crush you. Why? Because they don't like conservatives. It's not about black or white. It's about culture. And Twitter proves this is the case. I can't wait for the day where their protective status has been revoked because Twitter isn't a platform, it's a publisher and it tells you how to publish 
what you want to say. Can you imagine, even in short messages, they will tell you what you have to publish, or they will remove you. Anyway, criticism is always more than welcome. Like, share, and subscribe. I know it's been a rant, but uh, yeah. I mean, this, this was really clear, and I really wanted to share it with all you people. The rabbits, thank you, and I hope to see you all next time.